take no gunshots, but they get in low, 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 low. This was done in part one of the video, if you want to check it out. I test fitted the touchscreen, fits good and everything, I just got to make the brackets for it in the truck. So when I get to, when I start making brackets, I'll show you how I make those. I took my stock bracket, this is the stock one for the touchscreen. Where this, uh, the dash won't be, won't be able to have a, uh, dent, double dent kit. Basically, I'm making one. I had to take it, straighten it there on the vise, and then bend it. I think that's uh, one, uh, one and three fourths versus this. So I'll straighten this one out, then I'll uh, bend it the exact same as this one. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, we're going to do this one. I already pre marked it. Again, sorry for the sniffling. I think my allergies are messing up. Hopefully, I'm not getting sick. Not the proper tool, but it worked. Just gotta get it under there. Like I said, this is how I'm doing mine. So however you want to do yours, go for it. I like to see more people do it. So we've been looking about the Rams. I'm sure a ton of people have done a touchscreen mod, but I guess none of them put videos or anything. Now I could have said you have a flip out because I didn't have that installed and everything because you don't have to do anything to it. Yeah, I know this one ain't bolted down either. The garage is still in order. So, now let's beat it. Hopefully you can see it. Make it kind of straight. Put it back in the vise. You see the lines. Let's put it right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turned out for what? Turned out for what? Think of the Mayo Day too. You see? Get the same. Now these should fit. And I'm going to use my stock bolts on the radio and then I'll use big bolts to bolt these to my actual dash. So let's go ahead and put these in the truck. As you see, the bracket for it uh, fits. I just have to drill a hole. I put probably two screws here. There's a hole there and another hole right there. And I just gotta put this other bracket on. And we'll uh, put the um, bezel on and see how it does. Touch screen looks like. Let me set my camera up right. Hopefully y'all can see that. Of course you gotta have the dog so Joe. Because uh What's the Dodge Ram? Of course, you can change the logo to anything. This right here, I just haven't 
sort off yet. And I haven't had none of my channels preset or anything like that. Of course, man, if I want something, but let's see. I think it's a. Oh. Air channels go and come up here. Pedicure. Pedicure. I see. That works. And then you turn it off. And then my favorite thing gotta have the Bluetooth. You got to. See settings. I'll connect on my phone. Of course, you connect it on your phone. I don't know if you can see it or not. Then I'll do my pin. Of course, it says the pin code right there. So, oh dear God. <laughs> All right, it says I'm connected. Now I'll back out of that. Go back to Bluetooth. I'll bring up my Spotify. We'll go there. Let's see. We'll, we'll play this. Of course, it'll bring it there. He's done. And it's playing on here. The cool thing is, if I'm outside, like I said, now the new vehicle's got touchscreen. This is a '99, so I'm trying to hook it up pretty good. 